Morning Jim, how are you? Alright mate, that was a bit of a ride wasn't it? A bit dodgy in the lanes. What time were you up this morning then? Five o'clock this morning. Five o'clock? Five o'clock. Bloody hell. Uh, I mean we, we've both just arrived here at this uh, uh, at the other side of Fowey, at the other side of the river where the, the yeah. uh, Fowey, I beg your pardon, where the uh, ferry comes across and now we're going to be walking towards Plymouth to, to Polperro which is where uh, I met Ralph this morning, we picked, uh, we dropped his car off at the car park, drove down here in the van and now we're going to walk down the hill to where the car ferry, uh, sorry the pedestrian ferry comes in and then we're walking back and uh, Ralph's had a look and what did he say? It's eight miles roughly. Eight miles, yeah. A hard slog. It, but yeah, it said that it's it's strenuous. Yeah, that's a Eight bit. miles of steep hills this morning. But uh, but with a bit of luck we should get that through that in maybe four or five hours and then we'll be we'll, hopefully we'll be back in Plymouth by mid afternoon. We were both tired last night. I was tired, yeah, wasn't I was you? tired. Ray was tired. I, yeah. I mean, I, I, it's a long day with the travelling, tra driving, and whatever. I know it is, yeah, uh, and so. this is what this is what we was, I was saying about backwards and forwards to Plymouth. Yeah. It, it does add a lot onto it. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. those after today, that problem's more or less solved. Yeah, 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 yeah. you know, and and it has been a problem. I would never have managed this without you, Rolf. Well, after today, we haven't got to go inland to come. To the, we can go along the coast and. The, yeah. Roads now, so yeah. it should be a lot easier. Yeah, and once we get to Plymouth, you know, uh, yeah. you know, the, yeah. there's a comfortable house, and yeah. I can have a shower. I've got some washing to do. It's going to have a shower, Jim. Yeah, and a shave. You know, <laughs> and I look like a bloody tram. But uh, you do, you do. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, and I, I, I did consider growing a beard at one point, but you know. So yeah. have you been practicing the good morning then? Go and give it a try. Good morning. That's it. You're getting there. I'm getting there. You're slowly. getting more like that Scottish woman. What do they call her again? Oh, Carol Kirkwood. Car Car yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm yeah. Nothing like that. <laughs> well, and you Welsh as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's go and have a good day, mate. Yeah. yeah. Let's, right. let's hit the road. Let's rock and roll. Yeah, cool.
Good morning. It's 9.30 on Wednesday the 9th of July and uh, we've just left, well an hour ago actually, we just left Port Ruin which is at the other side of the river from Foy and we're walking to Polpero. It's not going to be a particularly long walk, we reckon maybe six, seven miles, that's more or less as the crow flies, but it's more or less directly along the coast. And you might notice actually, we're just sat uh, maybe a couple of hundred metres from the sea, and it's like a mill pond, you can't hear the sea at all. It's absolutely like a park pond boating lake, absolutely dead flat. It's quite unique, I've never seen it like this before, and, you know, this is the Atlantic Ocean. And um, yesterday Ralph and I put in a big shift, there was quite a lot of running about to be done, and it got to the point by the time we'd finished where we were both very tired, and then we was faced with a, it was getting dark as well, and we were faced with a, a drive back to Plymouth, and uh, we had a complete rethink of the way we were doing things because because of the mileage and the the amount of tiredness it would have probably have been dangerous to have done a very hard days walking like that and then driving in pitch black to Plymouth and so Ralph did that on his own and left me to it and so I I was crashed out in bed by eight o'clock I answered a couple of emails one or two messages I didn't have a beer last night, which the first for first night for a long time, and I was tucked up in bed by about half eight, and I slept through this morning. Set the alarm clock for six o'clock, drove up to Polpero, and as I got there, Ralph got there. It was absolutely perfect timing, and uh, then we brought the van over here and left it in Porth Ruin, and now we're walking back to Polpero, and then we'll come back. <laughs> Uh, with Ralph's car to pick the car up and make it back to Plymouth which we hope we're going to be there by sort of early to mid afternoon I've got some editing to do from yesterday I'll have today's film to do as well I've got a load of washing to do I've got the usual things to do like tidy the van up, wash the pots loads and loads and loads of housework for the want of a better word so Ralph's here so I'll, we'll just have a quick word with Ralph so what did you make of yesterday then Ralph? I mean it's the first walk you've done for a while. Well, yeah, hard graft yesterday. It was wasn't it? It was a lovely walk, lovely weather, but 8 o'clock last night I felt it. You was crashed out early as well? Uh, 9 o'clock I went about. 9 o'clock, wow. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it's. Yeah, I think it's really important in in this where you know we're, we're talking about only probably seven or eight hours yeah. to actually walk in, to make as early start as possible yeah. and finish yeah. early and then crash out because yeah, that's a secret. There's nothing worse than walking with the clock ticking down and it getting yeah. darker. It's a horrible. Yeah, no fun driving on these roads pitch black. No. The, the no fun at all. Terrible, aren't they? Yeah. You know, yeah. they are really bad. Yeah. And and I, I mean I. I've got kind of used to these little side roads now, but I, I don't enjoy driving no, in the dark at all no. now. It's not easy. And, no, the fun's gone out of driving to me in one sense, because, you know, all of these long distances on, 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 on dark roads, it's no fun anymore. <laughs> I just don't, I don't enjoy it. No, hopefully it'll get easier after today now, so... Yes, yeah. yeah well, so. we're getting nearer to Plymouth. Yeah, I, I yeah. reckon... Uh, the plan we had maybe for tomorrow is is to leave the van in Plymouth and That's you, right, yeah, you yeah. to drop me off at yeah, one end yeah. and pick me up at the other and yeah. you can take your wife out for a, a yeah. ride out and yeah. take her for a meal or something and spend some time with her. And, yeah, that's uh, the plan at the moment. Yeah, so. yeah, I think that's good and, and hopefully I can get from, uh, you know, a good way down maybe from Polpero to Seaton or beyond there. Uh, Seaton, yeah, it sounds good. Know, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, and it, I th I, from from what I've seen on the map and I've had a look, I think it flattens out a bit after this section, mm. you know, so yeah. it'll be easier walking with less hills, you know. Yeah. And uh, I know there's going to be hills on this section, but, you know, it, it's, it's... Well, it's going to be a bit of a walk through Plymouth along the, you go to Tor Point. Yes. And the whole... Yeah. And then you head back out then. Yeah, and there's one or two ferries to catch and all that messing about. Mm, yeah, you know, so well. yeah, well, we'll cross that bridge when yeah, we come to yeah, it. You know. yeah. But I'm, I'm really pleased you're here, Ralph, and I've thoroughly enjoyed your company. Well, uh, I'm enjoying it and loving it. it, so. it it's great. <laughs> I mean, just look at us sat yeah, here now, you know. The, the, the stunning. I'll, I'll, turn, the, I'll stunning. turn the camera to, to what we're actually looking at. Yeah. Just look at this.
just look at that. And it's it is January, January the 9th. January the 9th, and just look at this, it's unbelievable. And if I spin the camera just slightly further around, it shows you where we're walking to as well. And look at those, look at that. Isn't that stunning? We're very lucky people to, to, to be able to do this. And, and I savour every single moment of this, and I'm going to spend years to come watching these videos and reliving this. You know, this is unbelievable. this you've spotted then? I don't know what it is. It's, well, it looks like the remains of a big bird, doesn't it? And it's got itself spiked on a barbed wire. Unless somebody spiked him on it. That's incredible, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I wonder how long it's been there, like that. Wow. Big bones in it. Yeah. Looks like a crow or something like that. Yeah. Right? And it's just flown straight into the barb and, and impaled itself. Mm. Weird. Weird. It's a mystery.
just bumped into Catherine and Bernard and we're just east of Lanzalos. Lanzalos, I'm sorry. It's, I, I go through so many places I have difficulty remembering all the names. <laughs> And uh, you were saying to me, Catherine, that you, you actually, you, you've got an involvement with the South Wales Coastal Path. How does that work? It's the South West Coast Path Association who look after the full three, 630 miles yes. of South West Coast Path. And I'm one of the volunteers who works with them. Yes. And what I used to do, I used to look after the stretch that goes from Polpero through to Par, which is about a 14 mile stretch yes. and was responsible for walking it a couple of times a year, right. surveying it once a year to check the state of the path, making sure that it's uh, not dangerous, that yes. all the gates are still working, the steps aren't yes. dangerous. Um, and then once a year we do a full survey and use that information um, to make sure that things aren't declining too much and hopefully get funding to keep the wonderful path in good condition. Absolutely. Well, I mean, it is in good condition, though, mm. isn't it? I mean, I, I, I've been impressed with all of it, all good. the way, all the way around, from when I came in from Welcome, all the way down mm -hmm. the, the north as yeah. well. You know, yeah. it, it is, it is very good. Mm. I agree with you. Yeah. And, and so, you, your husband and wife, and do, do yeah. you do? I mean, obviously, it, it's not. It's like a busman's holiday in a kind of a way, <laughs> isn't it? Really, in a sense. But I mean, do, do you actually get out onto the path very often? As, as often as we can, and uh, and we both re recently retired, so, ah, so right. we've got a bit more of an opportunity now to do it more often. Yeah. And during the week, when, when the weather's actually lovely, because yes. before, it, it sometimes was a bit like, it's got the weekend, we've got to do a little bit of uh, surveying, yeah. you know, and regardless of the weather, we've got to do it, and now yeah. we can do it on days like this, when the sun shines, yes. um, and, and, and enjoy it even more. Absolutely, that's yeah. brilliant. That is really, really good. So, how yeah. how many volunteers work with volunteers would there be working on oh on gosh, some of this? Um, uh, forty or forty or fifty, I should think. Really, I, off the top of my head, I couldn't tell you the exact number. Yeah. Uh, but it must be. It must be must those be sort of or or stretches, yes. Yeah. Um, and they're yeah. kind of divided into into groups. Kind of each stretch of, of coast has somebody who who coordinates a group of volunteers yes. and is a member of the committee and reports back for for all of them. Excellent. And so on. I mean, if I may ask what, what might seem to be a stupid question, the, these gates and things, how do you get them here to, for, for, for somebody to erect them? I mean, are, are, they, are they brought, you know... Are... They'll be brought in. A lot of the land is National Trust land, so yes. they will be responsible for doing it. Other parts are owned by the local landowners, yes. but they'll do that in coordination with the county council, usually. Right. And there are various paths in across fields that they can use yes. for gates or for steps. I mean, building a new set of steps, you'll going to come off several across several st sets of quite long steps yes. coming up today 150 odd yes. in a run um, so building those yes it's quite a yes, an it will exercise. be co contractors who will be yeah. building those it's not the volunteers who no. got to come out and do the, <laughs> and, and, right. do the erecting we're, we're, we would be reporting you know if there's a problem with 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 steps uh, through the coast path and they would be then get, getting in contact with the landowner with the national trust and they would be then contracting somebody to to fix them and repair them. Well, that's fantastic. Yeah. Well, that's that's amazing. I will be honest with you. I wear a Fitbit. It counts all my mm -hmm. steps, and mm -hmm. it, it count it counts all my steps up as well and everything. Right. And on the southwest coastal path, I, you walk enough steps to actually climb Everest. It's about thirty thousand something like you that. You climb Everest three or four times. Three, yes. about three or four times. Yes, yes. yes. that's yes. right. Yeah. Yes, yes. 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 It's, yes. It's, there's some serious walking. Oh, it certainly. If you've is. done the North Cornwall coast, then you know all about that. Yes. And North Devon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, don't talk to me about St Ives to Lands End. <laughs> <laughs> um, we were down there quite recently. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it, yeah. is, it and, is and, tough, it's isn't very it? Tough. <laughs> uh, and the, the first section as well, from Welcome through Bude and down to Crackington. Haven. Yeah. That was a bit of a killer. It mm. is, yes. Um, That's known to this, be a very tough. Uh, this isn't as bad. No. But, uh, I don't think it's as bad. But I mean, I don't no. mind that. I mean, you, you get used to it. Mm. I've done, do. done 2,300 miles now, so, so mm. all these hills and everything, mm. uh, you know, you, you just get on with it. Yeah. You know, yeah. and. Uh, you know, but I'm, I'm thoroughly loving it, and I mean, I've, I've, I've planned this so I would be in Cornwall in the winter, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, I know there was a bit of bad weather up, up just up to Christmas, but it since was. then I've walked mm -hmm. just for every day. It's yeah. been yeah. dry since. We were just since. saying on the way down, we haven't seen rain since Christmas Eve. That's yeah. right, yeah. that's right, yeah. and it's yeah. been wonderful. I know, I know it's forecast at the end of the month, I was mm. looking at the longer term forecast, I think about the 22nd it starts right. again, rain. So where will so, you be by then? 
well I hope to be well the other side of Plymouth mm -hmm. like heading up heading, by that time probably heading up towards Exeter or yeah. somewhere yeah. and uh, what I did when I finished the Welsh coastal path when I finished the whole lot that that was 870 miles mm -hmm. and I got to uh, the Severn Bridge uh, I skipped Somerset and Devon to come down to Cornwall right. so so as soon as the good weather comes back to North Devon I'll mm. go and I'll go and, and, and mm. Somerset I'll do that section yep. to fill in between the mm. bridge mm. and welcome mm. again mm. it seemed a sensible thing to do yeah. and and with the, with all these people who write to me I got a fantastic offer for uh, for Christmas where uh, a, a couple wrote to me saying well we've got a holiday uh, place in in uh, Lizard. You're welcome to use it while mm -hmm. you're in while you're there, and you Great. can plug your van in. I've got yeah. my, I've got my camper van mm -hmm. with me, mm -hmm. so I can I can do all my editing, which yeah. is where what I do. And uh, and I had a wonderful Christmas there, That's and they're absolutely really. fabulous mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. And uh, but as I say, it's, I've been walking ever since Lizard, and yeah. and and it's been absolutely mm -hmm. great mm -hmm. this south side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice to meet you Beautiful. both. Yeah. And you. Thank you very much yeah. indeed. Good luck with the rest. Yeah. Thank you. Thank and you'll you. have to tell us how we get to see your film one day. I've given you a card. You've yes. Got, you've got the card. I've got the card. Okay. All you've got to do is just put Jim's Coastal Path Walk in either Facebook or YouTube mm -hmm. or Google and it'll come up. And right. And I'm on day 271 today, I think it is. So, wow. so if you look at all the higher Without numbers... Pardon? Without a stop. Oh no, I've, I've, I've had weather stops <laughs> yeah. and everything, and, yeah. and I'm not I'm not silly about it. I won't I won't walk in rain because no. I'm filming, mm. uh, and and there has been some some bad days, but not that many. No. I mean, when you think about, it, I set off in April. Mm. I walked. Mm. I walked all the way up to the uh, to the Scottish border. Then decided not to do Scotland until the end, and I walked right. from Carlisle all the way down to. Anglesey and around Anglesey, which mm. is 126 miles, without any rain at all. Well, you chose yeah. the right Seven summer for years. it, didn't you? <laughs> ab ab absolutely. Yes. Um, and and I've, I've lost two stone, you, mm -hmm. know, uh, you know, and sure. uh, feeling really fit, mm. so I'm dead yeah. happy. Mm. Good. Excellent. Nice to meet you. It's and been you. lovely. Thank, thank you very you. much. Yes. Well, thank you. Bye bye now. Bye bye. Bye bye. So what did you think, Ralph? Bloody hard. It was a bit of a slog, wasn't it? It was a slog. I mean, quarter to two, it's taken us exactly five hours. Six hours? No, we set up about quarter to nine. Oh, right, right, yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah. 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 And, uh, 
No, that, the, the, yeah, it, it was great. I mean, the weather couldn't have been better. Uh, you know, it was dry. It was it was fabulous, but it was hard, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Especially last last no one half. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, especially on top of yesterday, because that was a tough walk. <laughs> yeah. 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 So yeah, yeah you've, done, you've done very well. Well, we've well, well done very well if you don't yeah, mean. Yeah. It was, it was, you've done it really well. Yeah, that's. Pardon? You've done really well as well. Yeah. So, and a well-deserved cup of tea. Yes, gagging for it. <laughs> and then I've just got to work out what I'm going to be capable of doing tomorrow. So. <laughs> I'm resting. But, but well. I'll have yeah, half a day. Yeah, well, let's just see. Let's just see. I might. I might just do that. We'll just. Just work do a it. little bit in Plymouth, perhaps. Yeah, I'll see how I feel later. You know. I'll do the Wembley walk. Yeah, that's that's a possibility. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty Great. flat. Yeah, yeah. Along the coastal path. Yeah, could do that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well done, mate. Well done. Cheers, Jim. Cheers. <laughs>